Heading into the final tournament, there were several anglers that were within striking distance, which meant decisions had to be made. How many hours would they spend trying to land one of the several large sturgeons seen surfacing on the St. John River, or brave the labyrinth of the Narapus Marsh, trying to upgrade a species they've already landed? If I would have caught a sturgeon this year, it would have, could have put me 30, 40 points out of reach of, of some anglers. But I spent an hour, actually I put a time limit of fishing a sturgeon this year of one hour, and I ended up spending an hour and a half because I got a bite and I lost it. So I spent the extra half hour and still didn't get it. The rest of the tournament, I was trying to catch up to the other multi-species because I overspent time on the sturgeon. Rene only had a three-point lead, so he knew his lead was not safe, especially with the amount of species that were available at the finals. Since he took the lead, Rene never looked back, hoping that his consistency and strategy could secure him his second straight title. I made a choice. I was in first place only by about three points. So I made a choice. Do I sit and try to catch a big one or do I sit and try to improve on the bonus point? So I knew the Narapus would allow me to catch the most species. I only had one species after the first hour and a half, so it wasn't looking too hot. So I kicked it into high gear again, went into covering water. In a bid to make up for lost time spent chasing the elusive St. John River sturgeon, Rene Pelche returns to his original plan of loading up on different species in the Narapus Marsh. The Narapus River is approximately 40 kilometers long and empties into a marshy basin. The marsh sits about 2.6 kilometers square and is a prime place to catch many of the smaller fish and in some cases, even the larger ones. Anglers who chose to enter the marshy waters were rewarded with a great day of fishing. Gary Lynch pulled it all together, catching some big fish and landing seven different species. Striped bass, chain pickerel, yellow and white perch, pumpkin seed sunfish, chub and fall fish, which gave him an impressive 92.25 points on the day. Rene Pelche, who also spent a lot of time in the Narapus, finished with the most species on the day, nine, including a red breast sunfish. He took second place with 88.5 points. Meanwhile, other anglers were hunting for the large species out on the bay, as Andrew Burt was able to land the only short-nosed sturgeon the series has ever seen on a tournament day. But yet it was still not the largest fish caught in the tournament. So there's this, there's kind of this plateau and it was about three feet of water and the weed line just kind of pops up right to the top of that water line. I knew there were some smaller species that I was gonna target up in there, but I was really hoping that on this bank, this three foot that rolled down into about 18 foot of water was gonna hold some smallmouth for me. So I'm rolling this worm, um, Texas rig worm, down this bank, just bopping it down like I would, kept going for a smallmouth, hoping something was gonna take it up on the ledge. And all of a sudden I get this fish on, and you know, I set, set the hook like you normally would, and then all of a sudden it starts running right towards me. The first thought that went through my head was, it's a big pickerel. Because pickerel will shoot left, right, they, they just run. And it's running right towards me, so I'm reeling in, just screaming my reel. When it got to my boat, I'm fishing this on my five foot six, medium action, ugly stick. And the second it saw my boat, my drag just screamed. It's a 2500 series reel. And my reel just screamed. And that fish took off. And I had probably a good, I don't know, 20 minutes of fight trying to get this fish to my boat and it took off and it came in and it took off and it came in. Finally, I tired this thing out. Then I get to this moment where I get to kneel off to the side of my kayak and pull in this fish, this giant 31 inch striped bass, pull it up, proud of this thing. Um, and then after that, I get to figure out how to measure the thing in my boat. One of the best experiences um, at Grand Bay Westfield that I've had. With that 31-inch striped bass, Travis Melanson had a strong day with five species. He finished the day in third with 75.75 points. Chris Bingham also put in an impressive performance with six species, finishing in fourth place with 67.25 points. And Brian Cothra managed to find six species for 62.25 points, rounding out the top five. Grand Bay Westfield Finals was a decent day for variety, but it was a tough day to try and locate the target species of smallmouth bass. 
Chris Arnold was one of four anglers that found one, and his 9.5 inch smallie was good for the Lunker bonus points. Finishing the season in first place with 14 of a possible 20 eligible species for a total length of 183.75 inches plus 42.5 bonus points, Rene Pelche secured a grand total of 226.25 points, clinching his second consecutive hook and paddle championship. As the skill and knowledge of all anglers increased this year, the series saw the tightest battle for the top spot seen in many years. John Cale and Rene Pelletier, who led back and forth for most of the season, were starting to feel the pressure from the tight group of up and coming anglers just below them. And all year I was looking up to try and catch them. The problem that we always have trying to catch them is they always do well at every tournament. And the way that bonus points work, they always catch the target species, they always get in the top five, so they're getting all these extra points. Not only are they catching seven or eight species every time, but they're getting these bonus points. I don't think any specific catch gave me the edge in the last two years. I think what gave me the edge was consistency. I consistently caught multi-species, which allowed me to get bonus points for placing. I would say that was probably it, though I was doing so well on some of the species. I, I'll confess last year what I was pretty laid back in it. I've had years where I was more intense so far as catching the species. Last year I was just having a lot of fun catching fish. Why well, I'm gonna win? Because the, the fish like to be on my line. I can be ice fishing or I can be sitting right beside and there can be a line of five people fishing and I'll be the one that'll catch the odd fish. It's what I do for some reason. The fish like to be caught by me. I would never say I'm the best fisherman. Anybody who is willing to do the research and the time that I've been doing, knowing what species are available in a certain spot. Hey, you know, I'd like to think that one of these days I might win this if I can poke a hole in John's kayak. Their fishing styles and my fishing styles are quite a bit different. Yeah, they're competition. They've been doing this thing for a while. They know the waters really well. Uh, they're gonna have to watch out because there's a lot of people coming up in this thing that are learning a lot more than they ever did. I think they're just gonna be, they're gonna be just as competitive as I am. I really think we're gonna see some some bigger fish. It's gonna be exciting for sure. This will be the biggest season yet. More anglers, more fish, and more at stake. I'm pretty good at finding spots that are fishy. Yeah. <laughs> I hooked up with a a uh, long nose sucker. Slams up against the kayak. Now I've got a fish in my lap. I've got another fish on that's so big, my rod's like this. Horse was the first thing that came to my mind. We're not ganging up on John, it's just he's, he's always up there. We gotta talk about him. 